2014, Richland Public Health led a community and countywide initiative on infant mortality. There was a task force developed, and many of you in the room have been and continue to be partners. County agencies like Children's Services, Job and Family Services, Mental Health, Developmental Disabilities, the court systems, etc. City departments, including particular areas in the city, Early Intervention and Help Me Grow, area nonprofits, NECIC, the YMCA, the Library 211, Richland County Youth and Family Council, CHAP, Health Systems, Ohio Health Mansfield, Avita, Ohio Health Mansfield Shelby, excuse me, Avita, Third Street Clinic, OB, and Pediatric Physicians Offices. Parents are a member of our subcommittee, concerned citizens, and elected representatives, and some of them are here today including city representatives, county representatives, state representatives, and congressional representatives. And we've come up with what we feel to be a common and consistent safe sleep message. We adopted this message that we promote alone on the back in a crib. You see this across the state, ABCs. You see us involved in Richland County in areas such as bus ads, media campaigns, TV, radio, print, and social media. But you can see that with the data, the recommendations from the task force are that the additional tools in the toolbox are needed. We are not moving this needle as far as we would like. The current resources may be enough, or the target and approaches need to be improved so that we can decrease our rates on infant mortality. One thing just to be clear, when we look at Richland County's infant mortality rate, when we have a number of 12, when you move that number up or down one or up or down two, that will be a remarkable difference. That rate will swing from sevens to elevens to thirteens. So just assuming that with interventions and programs like this, we can make just one difference, we're going to make a dramatic change in our rate. If I could have the next slide. The, um, the journalist in the room here today, Brittany Shock, good afternoon. And I know Brittany is uncomfortable and we are not going to uh, spend a lot of time bringing Brittany up to the front here. but. I want you to know that a thoughtful journalist came along and, I mean, <coughs> coming from me, that's remarkable words, right? Thoughtful <laughs> journalist. <laughs> but <laughs> Brittany Schock wrote a rather compelling article and series of articles called Healing Hope. Saving babies means thinking inside the box. And for those of you that had the good opportunity to read that online with Richland Source, I think you came to terms with something that was significant and real in our community. And Brittany and Jay Allred, the publisher at Richland Source, they were a part and continue to be a part of something called solutions journalism. And I won't take the time to define that because I know that Mr. Allred will do a much better job momentarily. But in short, solutions journalism was the approach here to look at something and provide some avenues and some things for a community to think about. And as a result of that Healing Hope article, Brittany came upon a couple things. Number one, the country of Finland has an infant mortality rate of 2.3. And the United States, as the most developed country in the world, has an infant mortality rate of 6.0. And the United States, which is approximately three times higher, and the United States on an infant mortality rate across <coughs> the world is 27. So that we should know, leaving the room, 26 other countries in this world do a much better job with infant mortality than this one. And from that research was within the journalism and within the reach and within the ask of the author and the journalist, what about the concept of a baby box? And what you see behind me is a result of that concept. It went from a story, to a discussion, to a critique, to some action items, to where 
and see Kristen and members of her team at the YMCA and many others in the room that have adopted and we're getting in front of and behind of the baby box concept. So with that, let me pause. Let me ask Mr. Ulrich to come up here and provide some thought and insight and some role with Richland Source in this effort. I won't take long because we were fortunate enough to help start the ball rolling by just doing the work that journalists are supposed to do, which is tell stories about a community and give that community the opportunity to either come together, solve a problem, or run away from it. And that was the magic of what Brittany's story did and what her colleagues and what our team did was they told a story that asked a question and that gave us the opportunity and all of these amazing agencies who came together to attack this problem gave them the opportunity to tell us for us and all the other local media that are here today and thank you guys all for being here to tell the story of a community that came together to solve a problem and um, the, that's really what our role in this was was to create a platform where a community could make a decision to look at it, see a different way um, from Kevin and Michelle's company, and um, to come together and to solve a problem that had vexed that community for decades and um, is one that needs solving. So I want to thank everyone for being here. I especially want to thank Martin and Kristen for really taking the lead here and allowing us to back away from this process and go back to being storytellers and to, but giving us the happy situation and all of the journalists in the room here are happy situation of telling a story about a community that is coming together to solve a problem rather than one that is running away from a problem. And so thank you very much. And Martin, I'll hand this back to you. Thank you, Jerry. So I'm going to ask Kristen back up to reacquaint, with, reacquaint you with the baby box here at the YMCA, what their role and initiatives have been and what they're doing today and going forward. Thank you. No one else is using a mic. Can you hear me? I feel like I'm quiet. Okay. So uh, the Mansfield Area Y turned 150 years old this year, 2017, and I'm pretty 100% sure that 150 years ago, YMCA's across this country were not talking about babies sleeping in boxes. However, our goal is to continue to meet the needs of those in our community and how we can help. And when I was asked to participate in a conversation about baby box, this was an absolute no-brainer. Uh, the Mansfield Y cares for nearly 50 infants every single day. And uh, we talk to even more when we uh, interact with the parents who are interested in care and need care for their infants while they go to work. So for us, it's an opportunity to <coughs> share this information with potential parents and members and give them an opportunity to come and pick up a box when they do complete their education. We have uh, set up outside this room here some iPads for any expecting parents or parents with new babies uh, to participate in Baby Box University today. We have the boxes, we have plenty of boxes to uh, distribute here in the coming weeks, but we actually already have almost 10 individuals who are going to get a box today, between today and Monday. So it's such an honor to be a part of an initiative that saves lives. I mean, you know, we, we are so, um, happy and feel honored to be a part and um, this is just a, a fabulous initiative for our community and um, this is really the least we can do to help participate so if you know of anybody who wants to um, take baby box university go right ahead <laughs> 